it's like it's the straw that broke the camel's back mm -hmm. and that's how details are to me and what's frustrating for me as a business owner is I would not describe myself as a detail oriented person just out of the box I don't think I came with that skill set um, but it's it's just the most important thing in the work that we do and we are <clears throat> in in branding and design and even in strategy the detail is often not predictable the things that you think about that are details um, like is that font you know aligned or is that box aligned with the you know design of the flyer or whatever that's that part's easy if you if your designer can't do that just get a new designer but then there's things that change that you don't get notified that they change like Facebook changes how it wants images uploaded and what size they should be or you know somebody changes how they've always done the formatting this way now they're doing it this slightly other way for whatever reason and you're stuck in the middle and you don't know why something's malfunctioning and so I really think it's like finding an error while you're driving the car at full speed and you're like hmm what's that check engine light mean <laughs> Like, are we gonna be okay? And the thing is, we're not saving lives. We're gonna be okay. It just frustrates me. And so last night, three hours, three. And if you times that by two, because it was the two of us, that's six hours of just tweaking on a client's um, platform. That was, it was just like frustrating, frustrating. And I feel like we need to know all those answers in advance. And the truth of the matter is we don't. We don't. Sometimes you just figure things out while you're running, while you're driving at mock speed. Does that make sense? Yes. It's frustrating. Can you hear it in my tone? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. Do you think that that experience creates or points to a value or a high value inside of the brand in any way? So here's the thing about values, and this is like, it's also frustrating, so thank you, Stephanie. Um, here's the thing, I think that it's values are like, we can think of values and we can want that value, and then living that value out is a whole other story. So, I am not a very patient person with myself first and foremost with mediocre performances oh my gosh and then with others I'm just not and I've worked on it so much and I feel like I've gotten so much better but I'm still not a patient person so if I wanted to have the value of patience in the brand which I don't explicitly name that value you'd be happy to know but I do name um, harmony and you know just kind of good collaborative environment so if if a lack of patience impedes my ability to live out my value then there is a lot of dissonance and so I hate that more than anything I really really don't like creating dissonance do you see the snow on top of those hills I'm ready for Mexico <laughs> So anyway, what we're doing now is we're going, we, we adjusted, we pivoted, and we move forward. And now we're going to a networking event, which is going to be amazing. And then uh, we're going to a client meeting that is not, this is somebody who's not going to be a, um, a direct client of mine, but she is a, she's going to be a connection who hopefully will help me um, connect with other people and I can do the same for her. Um, this is the best thing to have to do business right here. I mean, right after you. I'm glad that I am you second are. to the watch. No, you are. No, <laughs> if her. I precede the watch. <laughs> There's like you, 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 and then the watch. <laughs> Me times 13. <laughs> you just... <laughs> <laughs>
to be the president of the whole Napa Sonoma area. Um, and then typically you step down and kind of phase out from there. But anyway, she and I were talking about networking and we were we were both saying that networking isn't about meeting one person and getting business from one person. Yeah. It's really about the connections you make and each networking event, the way you show up, the, 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 the presentation you have, even if you're not presenting particularly anything, presenting yourself, how you show up, what you say, who you talk to, that all impacts, it's a ripple effect later down the road and you don't ever know who's paying attention or why. So being continually top of mind for people. So that's what her and I were discussing. So you don't join a networking event or a networking group to get business. You join to essentially have impact. And so the best part about this was that the agency and the brand is known. People ask about you, actually. Um, wow. I know. Look at me go. Look at you be part of the bigger picture. Um, but that's ex that's exactly what I'm saying. Like I was in a bathroom with somebody who's definitely in the middle of transition somehow. I don't know exactly what she's up to. Um, but in the bathroom, she asked me, what do you do? And I told her, oh, God, God. and she goes, oh, I'm a, I'm a digital designer. And I was like, oh, is that what you do now? And she says, no, because you have to, I told her what I do as in like, I have you. Uh, but I don't ever tell people I'm a digital designer. <laughs> <laughs> but she was telling me, she I was telling her that I owned a business and branding uh, agency, and she says, oh, I'm a digital designer. I said, oh, great. Is that what you do now? And she says, no, I, um, I'm trying to do something different. I did that when I was younger. And I said, oh, and she says, it's because you have to constantly learn and improve. And At like, least I'm doing that right. Bang. Because that's telling. Now, no judgment on her for whatever reason she decided to, you know, exit that. Whatever. That's on her. But internally, I felt like that's exactly right. And so I felt very validated in our own learning curve and growth. Yeah. Like, legitimately. That totally validates our process. Right? And like yours, too. So I feel, I felt like, hey, we got this. We're doing good work. We're constantly improving, growing. Maybe not at the pace that yours truly would like us to, but that's just a, <laughs> sounds like a me problem. Um, so anyway, that was, that was really, those are the kinds of things that I feel like are really good to know. And then silly stuff, like three people came up to me and said, oh, aren't you, uh, aren't you part of SCPW? And I was like, yes. One person said, oh, I saw you on the video yesterday. Great. Um, and then uh, one person asked about YPN. So that's the part that I feel like, okay, cool. The brand's getting out there. We're doing good work. We're getting out there. We're going. And then that gets very What was it? It was the, um, you were saying this the other day, the small measurable impact. Small measurable growth. Mm -hmm. It's got to be small and measurable. It doesn't have to be small, but it has to be measurable. And even if it's small measurable growth, that is still so much more valuable, so much more valuable than, God forbid, backtracking, which sometimes you have to do that too. Like we do that with process, yeah, right? We backtrack and we go, what the heck happened here? I want to be better about that too. So it doesn't feel like such a guilt trip. It just feels like we're backtracking to assess where the problem is so we can fix it. But it's, it's really important to measure the small growth, small measurable improvement, small and measurable, um, yeah, improvement. And what, what's the word that we're using this month? Uh, um, innovation. Innovation. Why don't I mean that? Escaped me. Yeah, but like... Don't worry, it's only the fifth day of the month. <laughs> <laughs> you have to repeat something seven 20, times for it to 20, be committed to memory. 28 days of February. Yep, by then I'll have it. Um... <laughs> But that's 
you know, that's the part. And, and it's like that for everything, for everything we do. And so that's where I felt like, I remember going into ILEA the very first time and feeling like I was the most awkward person in that room and everyone could tell because what do I have to offer? And now I feel like such a confidence in the work we do and the team we are and just being, and I feel like an ambassador. Like I don't feel like this is me, take it away. You know, it's not that kind of ownership. It's that I'm, I don't know, I'm representing the brand, what we do, who we are. And I noticed that today with the speaker. Mm -hmm. The speaker, he was great. He has himself, he's a man, he's a show of one. And I am so, I've never seen it like that. I'm so grateful. I am not a show of one. And it's like, in some ways, that's a big pressure. And in other ways, it's such a, like a privilege and a responsibility, but it's a privilege. I just love it. It's, uh, it's to me, it like shifted something in my thinking because I watched him really, really, really go for it. And he wanted to showcase skills and strengths he just doesn't have. And why would he? It's not his job. It's, you know, you can't, you're not good at everything. And he struggled through that. And I could see myself in his place of struggling through that on my own, but I have you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>